Patient's 35 years old. She's 5'9", 155. It puts her BMI at 23. She's transgender. We're doing a 360 fat transfer. We're going to expand the hips and buttock for feminization as much as we can. All right, so we're going to be doing 360 fat transfer. Remember, this is a transgender patient, so the rib cage is going to be a little wider. The, the muscles are wider. We're going to bring this in down to bone and muscle and expand the hips as much as we can. Transgender 360 fat transfer. We're going to lipo down to bone and muscle and feminize the hips. Maximum expansion of the buttock. She has pretty tight skin, so we're not going to get that much expansion, but the idea is not so much the quantity as much as the process of you do as much as you can and then you lose a percentage within a month. 360 fat transfer, maximum expansion of the buttock and hips. We went super thin on the waist and lipo of the back and thigh. Most of her fat deposit was in the waist, so once this was contoured and this was expanded, you can see there's a nice improvement in feminization and hourglass. Get our 360, you can see we brought in the waist as much as we can. We have really nice hip expansion. Uh, she had actually pretty good expansion on the hips. I put in as much as I can. You can see really nice hourglass effect. All right, so we did our 360 fat transfer, transgender patient. So expansion is sometimes more difficult. I expand as much as I can. Total CCs was 800 per side. And final results at three months, we'll be showing you progressive follow-ups. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop us a comment, give us a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.